Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see and you guys voted this video, so I hope you enjoy it. So in exchange for me making my lunch, my brother picked out my makeup for today. As you can see here, this is like all of the eyeshadow, so you don't have to do just that. Oh, all of it. I mean, you could pick that and some palettes too. There's a lot of options <laughs> to I say mean, the list. Gotta do the Aquarius for me. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> Aquarius and Horizon. Which shade is that? The orange. <laughs> okay. Or do. Or do. Okay. If you want to do like a blue palette or like a opposite color. Alright. So that was all this was like the same Eyeshadow. Thing. Yeah. Now you gotta pick one of these up here. This is a spray. the dewy finish okay it's almost empty but <laughs> eyebrows are up here you can just pick i'm just gonna make the green one because i like green that's just a brush this looks like a defense tool <laughs> okay all right lips we have this and this what's this hiding <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give me this sparkly purple? No, that would not go with the other choices I made. It's just like a clear gloss down here. I think so. Which one are you going for? Yep. We'll go with that. Okay. Mascara. Nope. That's mascara. Okay. Doesn't really matter what you pick. Man eater. <laughs> That's mine. We'll go with the man eater. Okay. Do you want eyeliner? You can choose if you want it. Sure. Okay. Concealer, pick one. Okay. Primer, pick one. Okay. Now over here. Oh, there's more. There's more. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Foundation. Okay, this is highlight. Cool, but this one's iridescent. Yeah, we'll go with this one. <laughs> of course. I was like, do I want to put the rainbow one? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that goes with this. They're all the same. Okay. These are all bronzer contour. Ooh, this one's got some meat to it. <laughs> oh, that one. <laughs> okay, pick a powder. Go with that one. Okay, and I forgot blush. Blush is over here. You want to sit down and open the drawer? Ooh. So all this is blush. I like that one. Okay. There you go. It's done. Thank you for your work. So yeah, he kind of just went on instinct for the first couple of things and then tried to match it for the rest. We have got an interesting basket to say the least. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the eyes. That way if we uh, have any issues, I can always wipe it off. So he picked the Zodiac palette, which I'm sorry that this is discontinued. This was a collab in between Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. But I keep it because I absolutely love the palette. It is Zodiac theme. I love Zodiac and astrology. He picked the Zodiac palette and said to use the shade Aquarius because he is an Aquarius. And then he also picked this Ace Beauty palette. And he said he likes the shade Horizon or Do. Now, he was like, yeah, do like opposites or you could do a blue theme. Now, I don't know if I feel like doing opposites. I think instead we're gonna do a blue theme. Luckily, there are some neutral shades within the two palettes, oop, between the two palettes that we can choose from. But let's get into it. Let me clip back my hair. So if I seem hot and sweaty, it is because I am. Our AC is currently broken. I'm just gonna set my eye base with a, the powder. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of Libra and put this in the crease. So yeah, I'm currently sweating my ass off. If you watched my last vlog, which I'll leave up in the cards, I had the fan going in the background. Most of it, I'm sorry if it was 
annoying to listen to. I don't care as much for vlogs. Okay, we're gonna go into the shade Aquarius. The shade isn't very, um, isn't very pigmented. I'm just creating this like wing shape. So the plan is I'm gonna sketch this wing shape and this Aquarius. Then we're gonna go into the deeper blue shade over here. And we're gonna go on the lid. We're going colorful to say the least. All right, now we're gonna start going in with sky, which is the deeper shade. Like all the colors, my brother had to go with blue. Blue is one of the hardest to work with. So yeah, my brother's an Aquarius. My mom is Pisces. My dad is a Cancer and I'm an Aries. Both my parents are water, yeah. Yeah, both my parents are water signs. I don't know if I mentioned this before in a video, but I will say that my my moon sign is I'm Pisces, so it definitely changes my personality. My moon sign definitely like tames me a bit. And do I want to cut my crease? Yeah, I think we are. Let me cut my crease and then we can chat more. Okay, there we go. We're gonna let that dry. Oh my God, you know what song I have stuck in my head right now? I have that Adult Swim song. It, there's like no words, it's like, I is easy, I is this is, like, I don't know how to sing it, but I have it stuck in my head. And it's cause I did the trend this, I have a fan. I did the trend this morning. Okay, I totally was confused about the trend. Like, it's pretty cool, but I never watched Adult Swim. It just like wasn't what I was into. So I've never seen like the original ones. I've just seen like the trend videos. But anyways, I do love the trend. I've seen some pretty cool videos on TikTok. Like when I was making the video, I had to consult my brother because he made one himself, like one of the trend videos. And also he did watch Adult Swim, so he knew a little bit more than I did. I just realized that I'm doing a whole entire video on the makeup that my brother picked and I didn't tell you anything about my brother. So yes, I have a brother. I am the older one. Yeah, we are two years apart. He was born in January. That's why he's in Aquarius. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a second before we go on. Yeah, he's my little bro. Both live at home right now. He's still in school. He still has one more year, I believe. We've both been living at home for a while because, so if you don't know, I did four years of university, graduated, and then I decided to do a one-year post-grad program. I just decided to live at home while I was doing that one-year program, and then as I was doing a one-year program, COVID hit, and at the same time as me, my brother decided to change schools to actually the same school that I was doing a one-year program. So we moved in back at the same time. So we had already been living at home for, since September when the pandemic hit. My lucky parents, they got not one, but two kids moving back home at the same time <laughs> after us living away for we are now going in with dew we're gonna try this first just with a brush and then if i need to i will wet it yeah i think we got a pretty decent relationship mainly based on tiktoks right now he's actually the reason why i got a tiktok well that and also because like I want to work in social media, but he was the one who was using the app. Like, if I hadn't been exposed to it through my brother, I think it would have taken me longer to get onto TikTok. I think I would have eventually. Okay, there we go. That is the one eye. Let me do the other eye, then we can keep on talking. And I'm going to turn on the fan. That's why I do one eye off camera. And now I can turn on the fan while I do the other eye. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I got two eyes. Are they matching? I don't know, but... Definitely a bright and bold look to say the least. So next we have liner and lash and mascara. I'm gonna put lashes on. I forgot to ask my brother to pick lashes, but anyways, I'm gonna put them on because I think the look needs it, but I just wanted to let you know the liner my dad, my dad, my brother picked. So this is the, I forgot the brand, but this is like dragon liner. I think he picked it because there's dragons on it. And then he picked the Tarte Nanny Eater mascara. So. I'll put on the liner and mascara and then I'll do the I'll do the lashes off camera. Just a little bit of black to help conceal the lash brand. She's a mini. Okay, and I will be back with some lashes. Okay, lashes are on. They're a little uneven. 
But anyways, we'll fix it a little bit once they dry down. Okay, primer. My brother picked the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Luminizer Primer. I think he just picked it because it was blue, to be honest. So this is a pretty good primer. I haven't used it in a while, though. It's a good illuminating primer. I don't really... Oh, that was a lot. I don't necessarily need more. I'm already pretty dewy from being sweaty. <laughs> We're gonna let that dry and in the meantime, we're gonna do my brows. So we got the benefit precisely at my brow pencil. I'm curious guys, if you have a sibling, what is something that you like because of your sibling? So for me, I have two. So I played a lot of video games with my brother. We grew up with a GameCube and then the Wii and he yeah, was just always into video games, still is into video games. But some of his favorites were the like multiplayer ones. So I would play it with him a lot. So the two that we played the most are Mario Go Kart and Super Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. We also like to play Mario Party too, but yeah, so much Mario Kart. It's always so funny because I got pretty good at Mario Go Kart. My brother is insanely competitive and I don't have a competitive bone in my body. So we were pretty lucky because if we were both competitive, it would have been a shit show. Because he would get so mad if I beat him versus like I didn't care. But yeah, I got pretty good to the point where I would like play with other people and beat them and they'd be like, why are you so good? And I'm like, play enough with my brother. My eyebrows, I need to get them done. The other thing that I like because my brother is Spongebob. Like my brother absolutely loves Spongebob and like when we come home after school and watch like TV after school, it had to be Spongebob. So... I know so much Spongebob. I could like quote some of those episodes. It surprises me though, because, so we're gonna go into foundation. This is a Bite Beauty Change Maker foundation. It surprises me because not as many people watch Spongebob as I thought they did. So I would make references to like Spongebob all the time and people would be like, what? I'm like, excuse me, you don't know Spongebob? Like the chocolate one, like chocolate, chocolate. That no one knew or every single time I had ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Like, people don't know it. I haven't worn this foundation in a while. Oh, I just realized I still have my fan on. I hope it's not bothering you guys too much. I literally just can't deal without it. I will say, I don't know if it's this shade or just a foundation in general, but I do find that it leans very pink. Okay, up next we have concealer. This is the Tarte. Shape tape. I don't know why I still have it because I like haven't used it in forever. I think I was like debating getting rid of it in my life's declutter and then I was like, oh, I'll like test it out some more and then I didn't. It's also pretty dark. It's more of like a face concealer. See, this shade is also pretty yellow on me. I've got so many different shades going on. The foundation's pink. This concealer is yellow leaning. <coughs> This is what my brother picked for bronzer. This is a Tardis Pro Glow palette. So as you can see, there are, this is like an old palette. This was like super popular when it first came out and barely anyone talks about it anymore, but there is cream and then powder. So we're gonna use a cream and then the powder. Okay, we're gonna go in with this brush and then we might blend with a different brush. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my other brush and let's blend her in. Sorry friends, so I was having some phone technical difficulties. So in this upcoming portion, I thought that I'd lost the beginning clip. So I kind of go over a few things and retell what I said before. So I'm just gonna kind of breeze through me talking so you don't have to hear me repeat myself. Okay, cool. That's the bronzer for now. We're gonna apply some of the powder bronzer as well. But first, let's powder. So the powder that my brother picked, where did the cap go? There it is. This is the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. I haven't used this in a while. So this will be nice. Okay. We're gonna go in with a small brush for my under eye area. Okay, and we're gonna go in with a sponge. Uh, I'm gonna go in with, back into the Tarte palette, and we're gonna go in with the powder. Whoa, maybe I put on a little bit too much. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, let's bone this down the neck first. Okay, I'm having some phone technical difficulties, it seems. Seems like my phone is overheating just like me. So I just, apparently the clip that I thought I lost is not lost. Uh, I just let my phone cool off. Hopefully no more issues. But yes, I finished printing out my bronzer and now we're gonna go in with a blush. Even though we don't really need it, my redness is peeking through quite a lot. But we are going to go in with a bit of blush. This is the Laura Geller Baked Blush in Tropic Hues. I really do like this blush because first, it's pretty. And I actually think it does work with the makeup look quite well. But also it does have a little bit of like marbling within it that gives you just like a nice glowy shine to the scene. Shh. A nice glowy sheen to the skin. I don't really think we need a lot but uh because we're already so glowy from the primer underneath but this is really good to say if i have a matte foundation underneath it just helps okay and now for highlights i was hoping that my brother wouldn't pick this palette but he's like drawn because it's holographic but this palette is full of colorful highlights i literally only keep this for fun makeup looks but i really don't feel like wearing blue highlight so what i think we're going to do is because the tarte palette has highlights so i think we're gonna pick one of these for the face and we're gonna use this to highlight in my eye region we also need to do the under eyes okay so i think we're gonna go into a mix of these two shades this palette smells amazing now let me set the face so we got the nyx to be finished this is almost empty so i don't even know if we're gonna get anything oh okay oh. i think it's done <laughs> i literally wasted the one good spray on my face we're just tapping it in oh i definitely could have used a little bit more oh like i said we're gonna take this bright colorful it's basically almost like the shade that we have all over the lid so we're gonna take this blue and we're gonna put it on the brow bone we're gonna take a little bit in the inner corner okay and we're gonna take just a little bit we're gonna go in with this other side of this brush fluffy side and just put a little bit on the nose under eye okay we're gonna go in with a bit of Aquarius and go along the lash line to about halfway in I always like unless I'm doing like a really smoky eye I always like leaving the inside part open just like so okay we're gonna use a little bit of liner sorry if this is considered cheating but we're gonna go in with my beige liner now let's do lower lash line mascara usually i use the telescopic one which is like tiny this one i'm gonna be really careful and that wasn't too hard because this is a pokey plastic wand and now to finish off the look we're gonna go in with lips now my brother only gave me a clear gloss but i do want to put a lip liner down just to have something underneath it i think we're gonna go in with this nyx slide on glide on stay all day whatever it's called uh lip liner in bed rose this is very pinky, which I think will match pretty well. Okay, so lip liner on. Now the lip gloss my brother picked. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection in Extreme. He picked it just because it's a clearish gloss. I don't think I've actually ever worn this gloss. And there we go, guys. Let me take off the hair clips. This is the finished makeup look. I am sad that my brother is not here because I would totally get his reaction of my final makeup look back. But yeah, guys, this is the final look. Um, my thoughts, oh my God, the gloss is tingling now. <laughs> my final thoughts are, I love how the eyes turned out. I think it's so fun. The only thing is that I think the concealer, you can really see the yellowness underneath my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, and it doesn't match the rest of my face. So I think I'm gonna relegate that Tarte concealer to just the face. Otherwise, I do really like how it turned out. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about this final makeup look. Did my brother do a good job? Thumbs up. 
thumbs down and let me know maybe I should do a part two. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you want to see more makeup related videos from me and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos. That is it for today's video and I'll see you in another one super soon. Bye! Wow. <laughs> You I like, like it. it. Yeah. I'm glad you See, do. Like, the like hollow like wingtip is cool. Never seen something like that. Double More like up. good job me for picking all the stuffs. Mom didn't like it. She didn't like it? Why no. not? I don't know. I told her it was your fault. My... <laughs>